Numbers chapter 7 Offerings of the Leaders Now it came to pass, when Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, that he anointed it and consecrated it and all its furnishings, and the altar and all its utensils. So he anointed them and consecrated them. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their fathers' houses, who were the leaders of the tribes and over those who were numbered, made an offering. And they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders, and for each one an ox. And they presented them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept this from them, that they may be used in doing the work of the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall give them to the Levites, to every man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen, and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service. And four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service under the authority of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because theirs was the service of the holy things, which they carried on their shoulders. Now the leaders offered the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed. So the leaders offered their offering before the altar. For the Lord said to Moses, they shall offer their offering, one leader each day, for the dedication of the altar. And the one who offered his offering on the first day was Nashon, the son of Aminadab, from the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nashon, the son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nethanel, the son of Zuar, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. For his offering, he offered one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nethanel, the son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, leader of the children of Zebulon, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizor, the son of Shador, leader of the children of Reuben, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of seventy shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year, 
as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Elizor, the son of Shador. On the fifth day, Shilumiel, the son of Surishadai, leader of the children of Simeon, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Shilomiel, the son of Surishadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaf, the son of Duel, leader of the children of God, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliasaf, the son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amihud, leader of the children of Ephraim, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, leader of the children of Manasseh, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur. On the ninth day, Abidan the son of Gideoni, leader of the children of Benjamin, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull one ram and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahizur, the son of Amishadai, leader of the children of Dan, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, 
one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pajel, the son of Okran, leader of the children of Asher, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Pajel, the son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Inan, leader of the children of Naphtali, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter, the weight of which was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year as a burnt offering, one kid of the goats as a sin offering, and as the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Inan. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel when it was anointed. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver bowls, and twelve gold pans. Each silver platter weighed 130 shekels, and each bowl 70 shekels. All the silver of the vessels weighed 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The 12 gold pans full of incense weighed 10 shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. All the gold of the pans weighed 120 shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering were 12 young bulls, the rams 12, the male lambs in their first year, twelve, with their grain offering, and the kids of the goats as a sin offering, twelve. And all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings were twenty-four bulls, the rams, sixty, the male goats, sixty, and the lambs in their first year, sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now, when Moses went into the tabernacle of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice of one speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim. Thus, he spoke to him.